All right. Uh, next question. What's the torque limits or what torque limits are there on your DQ250 MQB tune? DQ250 MQB. We kind of push those. We don't, we push them pretty high. They're, um, they're outside of anything that you would normally hit. I want to, uh, the top of my head, I want to say it's just pushed up to like seven or 800 Newton meters just to, just to clear. Bit, yeah. Well, yeah, it's not like you're going to hit that typically. It's to clear you whatever should, ECU. You and, should never hit um, the torque limit unless something is wrong. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's we, a safety. We, what we do is we try and remove that cap uh, to allow for the, the broadest amount of ECU tuning as possible. And, you know, the, the clutch pressures and whatnot will, will work up to, you know, a good portion of that yeah. uh, before it has to get into some, some bigger custom tuning. Yeah, it's safe to say power is not being limited because of that. That's the whole thing, yeah. yeah. Depending on what tune you've got, some put out different torque numbers than others. So, yeah, um, yeah it's more just to, to cover all our bases. And it does it does still pull back torque if it, things are getting too hot and out of control. Um, so it will go into clutch protection measures and whatnot. So Sure, all the safety that's, features yeah, are that's, still that's there. That's still there. Yeah. But like, it's not... Like, like as a it's, it's there in a, in a safer way than OEM in that it's not going to completely shut down the car with oh, some yeah. will. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, some of the OEM stuff. It's uh, very disruptive. Especially early on, they would have uh, uh, temperature sensor faults in the DSG units, yeah. and it would uh, put you into this severe limp that could actually leave you like stuck in the middle of an yeah. intersection. It was, I know. It was pretty sketchy. Yeah. I think it happened to me once. 